Parag, this question will be little personal because I got literally question from everywhere and everybody that uh, yesterday we were also experiencing uh, Ratha Yatra and we were dancing and doing Kirtan and uh, at last moment we got tired. But uh, we could notice that every Padyatri was still dancing, doing Kirtan. So what's the secret of their energy? So the secret of the energy of the Padyatras is Sri Sri Nuthai Gorasanda. It is the mercy of the Supreme Lord that there are different stages in bhakti. There's Shraddha, faith, and then Sadhu Sangha, coming in association of devotees. Bhajana Kriya, performing devotional service. Bhajana Kriya, then Anartha Nivriti, becoming free from unwanted things, lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, madness, and illusion and then coming to the platform of Nishta being fixed and then coming to the platform of Ruchi getting a taste for devotional service. There's a Kirtan group called Nam Ruchi, Hari Nam Ruchi, taste for devotional service. And this is what the Padiatras are experiencing due to their dedicated service. They have received the mercy of Sri Sri Nittai Gorasundar and they're experiencing some taste of Harinam Ruchi, and because of that taste, all their fatigue, all their tiredness, all their difficulties just disappear. And they become fully absorbed in chanting the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Maharaj, we see that uh, instead of we, they could have been used any car, any tractor, any motor vehicle, but why specifically bulls? And people might think that this is a cruelty towards animals. So, could you elaborate a little on it, Maharaj? So, Srila Prabhupada, he specifically specified to His Holiness Lokanath Swami Maharaj that the bullock cart should be used. Now, the bullock cart also promotes this philosophy, this lifestyle of simple living and high thinking. And it also encourages the synergistic lifestyle between humans and animals. That it's not cruelty, but actually human beings and animals are meant to live together and serve the Supreme Lord together. It is said in the scriptures, Jivera Sra Hoy, Krishna Nitya Das, that the Jiva is eternally the servant of Krishna. So the Jiva is happy when the Jiva is serving Krishna. So how do the Jivas serve Krishna? Jivas are not just human beings. Jivas are animals also. Jivas are cows also. Jivas are plants also. Jivas are bullocks also. So how can the bullock serve Krishna? The bullock can pull Sri Sri Nittai Gorasundar's cart and give the darshan of Sri Sri Nittai Gorasundar and spread the chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And if you meet our Pariyatra bulls, you will see that they are happy and satisfied and gentle because they are utilized in their dharma, their natural activity of serving the Supreme Lord. So it's not uh, a form of violence to the animals, but it's giving these animals an opportunity to do their dharma and serve the Supreme Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Maharaj. Maharaj, you have so much of energy. Be sitting beside you, I am getting goosebumps. That uh, how much at this age someone can have this much of energy? You are serving Padyatra. You are serving as a Kirtan minister. So I would like to know that how Sankirtan is playing a role in Iskon Padyatra. So Sankirtan is playing a role in Iskon Padyatra because at the start of the day. After the morning program, after rising, taking bath, attending the Arctic of Sri Sri Nittai Gorasundar, underneath the stars, seeing them by the beautiful ghee lamp, 
and then chanting the japa and attending the bhagavatam class guru puja prasadam the next thing is okay bring the bulls connect the bulls to the cart and the next thing is that Harinam Sankirtan Karenge! Start Guru! Start the Harinam! And Harinam Sankirtan goes throughout the entire day from morning till night. And this is our actual food. This is our nourishment, our spiritual nourishment. This Harinam Sankirtan. So some vehicles run on petrol. Padayatra runs on Harinam Sankirtan. So Sankirtan is an integral part of Padayatra. Maharaj, um, we see that ISKCON is so big now. Every city we go, there is a temple. So why was there? Why is there a need to be walking like this everywhere on the streets, Maharaj? So you're saying every city there's a temple? Most cities. So now you're revising your points to most cities. So it's not actually true. There's not a temple in every city. There's a temple in many cities. I wouldn't even say most cities because most cities is more than 50%. And the world has thousands of cities. Srila Prabhupada said that there should be millions of Pariyatra carts. If we had millions of Pariyatra carts, then we could bring the Harinam to most cities. And why just bring it to them one time? Bring it again and again and again. And this is also Srila Prabhupada's mercy on us that we have an opportunity to participate in Pariyatra with our family and friends. I have a good friend, uh, Murli Prabhu in Gujarat. He conducts daily Pariyatras, one day Pariyatra, once a month. He brings the communities together and they go for Padiatra for one day. So this is good. If you can't go for one month or continuously because of your family responsibilities, at least you can go for one day. And when I was in Europe, people would come on their vacations with their families, with their prams, with their children for Padiatra for the duration of their vacations. And every year in, uh, in Hungary, every year in Czechoslovakia, in the summertime, there are Padiatras and devotees take one month and go for Padiatra. So there should be millions of carts, Srila Prabhupada said. So there are unlimited places to visit. Prithiviti Achayata Nagarati Gram, Sarvatra Prachar Hoibe Mora Nam. That this holy name should go to every town every village all over the world. Therefore, these pediatric carts are essential. <laughs>